Hey, welcome back to YouTube. My name is Mike Swartz. In today's Ninja Trader tutorial series, I'm going to share with you guys how to keep Ninja Trader running at peak performance. Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out the Ninja Trader tutorial series, there's a card in the top right hand corner of your screen, or that same playlist can be found in the description box down below where it says Ninja Trader 8 tutorial series. It'll take you to the same playlist. Now, over the weekend, on Friday nights or Saturday morning, I do basically maintenance on NinjaTrader. And here's how it goes. What I need to do is we need to locate our documents folder, in, which will look something like this. And let me go ahead and make this a little bit larger. Then we want to locate the NinjaTrader 8 folder. Once we click on that, we want to go over here to the cache. Make sure there's nothing in your cache folder. If there is, go ahead and delete everything out of your cache. Then go back to the NinjaTrader 8 folder. From there, we want to go over to the database. Now, in the database folder, we want to cl click on the cache folder there. If you have anything in it, you want to simply delete it. Now, you could also delete the cache folder itself and it would delete everything within it. Uh, the folder will self-generate. I don't like to do that, however, so I go to each folder. The next folder is gonna be the day folder. Delete everything within my day folder right here. Next, I'm gonna go over to the minute folder. Double click on that. Select all. Control A is select all. Right click, click delete. Next, we wanna go back to the database folder and go over here to tick. Control A and then delete all. Now, there is an easier way that I'm gonna share with you guys here in just a few moments, but I wanna show you the way that I learned to do it when NinjaTrader 8 first came out when I was working with tech support through the beta series. And what we wanna do now is go back to the NinjaTrader Ninja Trader 8 folder, and you wanna do the same thing for the temp, and I'm sorry, the log, and trace files. You want to do the same thing within both of those folders as well. And one thing I want to mention when you're in the database folder, make sure that you do not delete your market replay folder, the data within it. If you do, you'll no longer be able to use market playback. So once you've done this, everything should be set up and everything is good to go. Now I'm going to pause the video for one minute. I'm going to reboot up Ninja Trader. I'm going to show you how I have the folders repopulated. Then I'm going to show you a faster way to do it. All right. So now I've went ahead and I restarted Ninja Trader and I shut it back down. So that way I'd have some data back in these folders. If I go over back over to database, see in day data, we have all the daily data that loads up once again. And what this helps is it helps free up. So, you know, Every day, as you have more ticks coming into your, your database, it's going to clog it up. I have a X amount of days that I load up when I load up Ninja Trader, and I don't want to load up more than what needs to be loaded up. That's why we want to clean up the database. Now, if you've purchased Algobox, then you've probably seen this little this little startup tab right here, this little startup document. I think, I don't know if it's within Ninja Trader. I know within the Algobox community, Vinny and them, we're talking about, hey, if you run into issues, you wanna clean up your database, just simply click on this startup folder here. Now, watch what happens when I click on startup. I'll start up right here. You see something flash up, it went ahead real quick well, real quick and deleted everything out of my database. And now what it's doing is it's going ahead and it's loading up Ninja Trader as we speak. I can go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, let me get rid of that folder real quick. And you'll see that it will start populating charts right here on the screen. Again, I love that feature. Instead of going through each folder one by one, I can just simply click on the startup folder. Now, you may be able to find that startup folder if you join their free Discord room. I know that's where I first learned about that folder was within the Algobox community. So if you wanna learn more about Algobox or if you wanna search around to see if you can find that file within the Algobox um, Discord community, that will be the first link in the description box down below. You can join their free Discord room, learn about their strategies, learn about the awesome software, and also how you can speed up the maintenance process over the weekend. Like always, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Till next time, good luck and good trading.